if y'all want to enter the giveaway and get some free shit, I advise you to do that. So you might as well subscribe and hit the bell notification now so that you can be notified when I post a lit video. And then you can be notified when you can win these lit gifts. Alright y'all, welcome back to my motherfucking channel hoes. Okay, okay, period. It's your girl Laura Ashley and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to turn this basic ass white tea into this cute little DIY tea. So if you wanna stay tuned and you wanna become a QT, make sure you watch the rest of this video and to be notified every time I post a lit lit video, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to join the motherfucking gang and hit the bell notification to be notified every time I post a lit 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 lit, lit. video. Let's get into it. My first video after being back, um, I've been gone for like three weeks now and it's so weird to like film and like actually have a setup and then be talking to y'all again because I haven't filmed a video in three weeks, but... I'm back and I'm better. I actually have a pre-filmed video that I've been struggling to freaking, <sighs> struggling to edit because my phone's acting wonky, my ring light actually stopped working, all these problems, y'all, so I couldn't film. But I'm back filming and I'm just coming back with heat, all heat, all 2020, baby, all summer 2020. I'm coming with the heat, the quarantine vlogs and all. So I'm sorry about that. I'm being missing. We finally reached three, three thousand subscribers, three k, and what's what's going on? Period. So I am going to be doing a giveaway, but I haven't figured out everything of what I want to give away and everything or whatever. So I'm doing that in the next video. We'll have the three k giveaway video. So stay tuned for that. If y'all want to enter the way that, if y'all want to enter the giveaway and get some free shit, I advise you to do that. So you might as well subscribe and hit the bell notification now so that you can be notified when I post the lit video and then you can be notified when you can win these lit gifts. So let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna need is a pack of teas. I have some big safety pins. These are the one and a half inch pins. Um, one and one sixteenth. So they're a little smaller. Some E60 jewelry glue. Whatever. I have my shoelaces, set rings. They didn't have any like egglets, I think they're called. The things that like hold your shoelaces in place. And of course you need scissors, which, where's my scissors? Where's my goddamn scissors? First of all, my tees, I wasn't able to get them size medium that I wanted to get. They only had a size small. But I figured I wanted to fit tight so a small should do. And if not, I would just use my sister as a model. But they fit, but you can definitely tell they're like, it's small, but since I'm going for a tight fit, I guess it's fine. The first one we're gonna do is the most simple, simple one, which is the Jada Waiter one. And y'all know I love me some motherfucker Jada Waiter. So that's the one we're gonna do. And I don't want mine to be too short, because I don't want my titties hanging out, but I want a cropped or effect. And I'm not drawing no straight lines because these are meant to be messy. They're freaking white beaters. So I'm not cutting perfect lines. But if you wanna go out your way and do that, you gonna do that. So this is the first one, and literally this is all she did. Cut right here. And she also used the size medium, which is like, that's why I knew maybe I should get, I mean, she used the size small. And that's why I was like, well, damn, maybe I should get a medium because I know I'm like way bigger than her. So this is the first top we're gonna make. This one was really quick, literally took 30 seconds. And yeah, so cool. I'm gonna just really cute. I can already tell it's gonna make your titties pop. It's the first one, a very simple, simple look. We're gonna do the second one is gonna be the safety pin tee. And this one we're gonna cut a little shorter because it's already scandalous. Why not take it there? This is literally only gonna fit my boobs. I can already tell. Look how small, this looks like a baby's shirt. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and for this one, I'm gonna do a mixture of the big um, safety pins and the little safety pins. I'm only gonna do a few small ones though. And then, yeah. So it's a twist on the basic, basic safety pin T trend. Okay, and this is what your shirt looks like when you're finished, putting in all the pins. This one, should I cut it extremely short? <laughs> I'm gonna try to find egglets or eyelets. I can't remember how to say it, but I'm gonna try to find that for my next YouTube video I do. So that I don't have to have it looking ratchet. Um, but I wanted to find something that I could like put in place of it because I don't just want ratchet ass holes in my shirt and then the holes just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So when you actually cut off all the pieces off of it, it actually looks like a perfect little circle. And I'm just gonna take my E60 glue. Okay, I'm done. Is this one you can use? Oh shit. Oh, I figured it out. Oh shit. I figured it out, guys. The top is actually the piece that you use to put the other tops on. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. Not me. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Okay. So they're going to look a little bougie. We giving that little bit of a bougie effect, but it's not bougie. We need this from Walmart. And I got these at Target. And like I said, y'all, these shirts did not have. I got the last pack of shirts. The last pack of t-shirts. And they're small, so. I don't know why during Corona people decided they need white beaters to sit in the house, but that's what they decided. And that part, you don't have to waste your money on that part. Honestly, if it wasn't for YouTube, I would, and it was just for me, I probably wouldn't went out of my way to do that. Do this part. And we're going to probably have to let this shirt dry before we do anything to this one. So this is going to be the one I come back to. Y'all probably won't know that through editing though. <laughs> Crazy. I have to get some good ass background music for this. I wonder what it's gonna be. And this glue was actually kind of pricey. It's like seven dollars for glue. But I'm only gonna.
one I'm not going to cut it that long. I do it this way so y'all can like try to see everything I'm doing. But see. Now I'm going to cut it down the middle. I'm not going to cut this one down to the bottom. This far. About halfway through of what you're shooting. I don't know which one to pick. I don't like this color. I like, I like that color. I'm gonna do that color. Take my string, pick the right one. And I'm gonna lace it from the top to the bottom and have the bow being at the bottom of the shirt. And this one isn't gonna have rings because the strings doesn't fit into those rings, which is why I wish they have different size aglets and shit but they didn't there's nothing i can do about that This one. Shit, then that crack, he gon' hit it up Headshot, soak his man